Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Ken. We're coming to you live all the way from Mount Sidonia Sand here in wonderful Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. How you doing, Pastor Ken? I'm having a wonderful morning. All right. You looking you know, good this morning there? I'm, I'm feeling good. That's good. But you know, that has really nothing to do with my relationship with the Lord, how I'm feeling at all. It really does. Because the just shall live by faith. You see that? I see that. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. And uh, uh, after years of working working on that, uh, I'm completely convinced you're not always going to feel saved. You're not always going to feel tremendous. There's lots of struggles and lots of battles, but those that endure to the end shall be saved. That's right. Okay, now you, you're in the process of something pretty big in your life. I am. I am. You sold your, uh, you've just sold your property. I have. And you're going to take a bride. I am. And uh, you're, you have bought a new property. Yes. That's and true. you're moving there. Tell me. How does a person feel about all that? You know, the leaving and the coming and going. Oh my! You know, <laughs> I talk to you all the time, but you're you're right packed full of emotions. And oh. tell me about it. Look in there and tell the people. Oh wow! Uh, you know, my brain is as at a loss for words, but you know, my heart has a lot of words in it right here this morning. And uh, yeah, um, this summer I I spent the the beginning part of it with just. Um, all kinds of anxious moments over um, making some decisions in my life. Um, primarily, yes, um, selling my home uh, out in Marion, and and um, of you course, felt very, uh, very stressful about moving away from something that God had oh given my. you years ago. Didn't yes, you? yes, yeah. It was just, you know, folks. I was holding on to things so much, um, and you know, moving away from anything or leaving, however you want to put it is uh, something that's pretty hard for me. I don't know if it's that way for you, but uh, that's what it was. Do you think we hold on to this earthly stuff way too much? Wow, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. I mean, you know, a house, um, they always say, you know, a house isn't a home without the people in it, but you know, that's that has some truth there where, um, yeah, my house was a home because it had people in it and, uh, you know, there was love in my home and everything, but you know, the house was just a building. Yeah. It was like I told you at breakfast, it was bricks, blocks, nails, screws, boards, whatever you want to say. Yeah. And, and I held on to those items. Yeah. You know something, <laughs> talking about holding on to this stuff. I've done a lot of funerals in my day. I've seen the hearse pull into the graveyard, the cemetery. I've never seen a U-Haul hooked down to the hearse. <laughs> never yet. The point is, you can't take any of it with you. No. Enjoy it while we're here. Be blessed with it while we're here. But put Christ first. Amen? Amen. You know, we're going to let this truck go by here. We're going to wave to it. We're going to shoot the horn. I get the itch to want to get on them things to drive them. I used to do that to mine. You know, Pastor Ken, I watched that film last go by there and he's hauling quite a heavy load. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, that kind of ties in with what we're thinking here. I, I felt like I was hauling a pretty heavy load of anxiety around there, holding on to, you know, like I said, just a, a structure of of blocks and bricks right. and, and you know it created a immense amount of anxiety but you know that was what maybe 10 days ago tell me now bring me up to date where are you now yeah sure i just have an incredible sense of peace really i really do i, I honestly do and i'm it's amazing because i would have never thought that on july 23rd when you know we signed the papers and everything and uh, I just would have never thought that I would, well, let's just say, let go and, and get over that. And I, I honestly have this peace within me, and it only comes from one place. Tell me about it. It comes from God. You know one of the greatest indicators that you're in touch with God and on the right track with God and following the destiny that God has set for you? If you have peace. That's right. If you don't have peace, you better slow up and take time because God 
through the Holy Spirit brings peace into our heart. That's right. I would have never, never thought that I had that peace. I mean, I, a few months ago, I wrote a song there, if you remember, uh, Trust in the Lord. You know, and I was in the kitchen of my home there when that came to me, and I and I knew I had to trust in the Lord, but I still had that anxiety, and and that's what I worked on until July 23rd, and I'm still working on it. But you know, by trusting in the Lord, He is the one that got me through, and He's the one that was able to give me that peace. I'd have never been able to do that on my own. I just never would have been able to do that without God. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Absolutely. Lean not on your own mm. understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy pathway. Mm. That's out of the Bible, and that's for you today. Uh, hey, as we go out of here, why don't we sing? In the service? saints go marching in oh when the saints go marching in oh lord i want to be in that number oh when the saints go marching in when they crown him lord of all when they crown him lord of all oh lord i want to be in that number Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, and the saints go marching in. Go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, Lord, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in. Would you please pray us out of here today and, and bless will. the people in Jesus' name. And uh, if you're struggling today with anxiety in your life, and you need peace, give me a call today. I'd love to pray for you personally. Give either one of us a call. We'll pray with you. We'll take the time to pray with you. We really will. You pray, bud. Heavenly Father, we come here today uh, just, just asking that, that you uh, give us that peace beyond all understanding. We, we just ask that you uh, calm our hearts, uh, keep us from, from anxiety. I thank you, Lord, for giving me that peace recently. And, calming that anxiety that I had in my heart and, and giving me uh, just the ultimate peace that anyone could have. I thank you for my brother, Pastor Ken, and my brother, Chris, here, that they've been supportive and encouraging for me. And I just ask that you bless those folks out there that are struggling with that, that anxiety that just wants to just have them burdened down and having a load on them, just like here at the quarry, you know. Uh, I just felt like I had a heavy load, and I thank you, Lord, for for just letting that load just dump right off of me. And I just pray for the people out there that that you will help them the same way. Um, we ask that you bless this day. Um, we thank you for this day. We're not guaranteed for the next day, but we thank you for the the chance to have one more day here. And we just ask that you'll be with us today. Look towards you for for peace. And understanding we ask these things in your name lord and we thank you amen amen see you later on rise and shine <laughs>